Hello, my name is Zach. I'm making a video here. Um, I'm gonna show you this crazy thing I did. This is how I modded Doom 2 to make a comic book. Which might sound weird to you. Yes, I did this thing, a book called Bear Quest 3, wherein I fully converted and modded Doom 2 replaced all the art assets and all the everything in Doom 2 to put as panels in a comic book and um, I'll show a panel from the comic book right here right now so uh, if you don't know my comic you can look at it at Oh, bearquest.net and um, basically across top you have what is actually going on and at the bottom you have the video game artwork so you can compare and contrast the real world and the video game world and um, in the third one it got so advanced that well so advanced that it's now covering a 90's era first person shooter uh, the first one was a more of like an Atari platformer. The second one was a 16-bit era Zelda adventure game. So now we're in the 90s, which and I say it's gotten so advanced that it's gotten so advanced that it looks like the 90s. But uh, here we are in a Doom 2 world as a bear. And uh, the reason I did this is because I always wanted to make it as realistic as possible uh, with all the artwork throughout all of the Bear Quest comics I always wanted to uh, make it look real I wanted to convince you it was a real game that was somehow being adapted to to uh, be this comic and that it was some forgotten video game franchise you've never heard of so when it came to make a 3D game I'm like well I have to actually make the game pretty much now because that's the only way it's going to look right. This is the, what we're looking at here is the Largo system, which is the video game system that the bear uh, jumps out of to enter the real world. And this is the player of the game. Uh, you'll notice as I, as I do this video that pieces are messed up a little bit. I mean, it doesn't quite look like a man, and he has no head. But I, I picked and chose screenshots, and made... It's pretty much just like a viewer for me to run through and pick uh, what resemble... what the game shot would resemble. So, if whenever I was doing this p uh, uh, panel, uh, I would arrange it sort of like that so you couldn't see the head. And I also did some digital editing of it, some pixel editing. And something else I did because I wanted to make it look a little bit um, more like an old game, like the resolution of an old game, is I made it small, like that size. And so I could really uh, just edit on a pixel level and it made it look grosser and worse but that's the choice I made <laughs> um, anyway let's go look around I even made the title in 3D in the Doom Engine Bear Quest 3 Here's a fly. Something else I did is uh, I edited uh, the the palette and uh, kind of created my own art, a palette to suit uh, suit my needs. Completely edited the the Doom Two palette. This is the first creature that the bear confronts. I also this animation with attacking you know we can't actually fight this guy but I put it in here just because it's fun for me personally when I'm running through this 
this world to just do that every once in a while, jump and attack. And also that head down there, the Doom Looky Bear head, that's in the comic, but it you know it doesn't move obviously. I just put that in there for my own personal enjoyment. Here's an exploded fly. So this is supposed to be the this the guy who's playing the game who's asleep. This is his apartment, and you he falls off the table, and there's a void. And if you ever see this 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 like void sky, that means that you're seeing through the game. You're seeing the glitches. You're seeing beyond the uh, the what the, the game had meant for you to see. The framework of the game. If you look through my comic, you'll notice that I uh, kind of threw that in there every now and again to to like, oh, what are you looking at? You're looking at the void beyond the game. So here we are, like, we were up there. This is a little bit of sleight of hand, I guess. Up on the top of this table. Now we're down here next to his feet. And the bear attacks his feet. Um, I had some points I wanted to talk about. Oh, the first thing I said is read Bear Quest. Uh, you can read Bear Quest at bearquest.net, or you can just enjoy this video and wonder why a man would make a video game to make a comic book. And it could be just your interesting little YouTube tidbit for today. Either of those things is fine. This is the wreckage of something I'll show you later. Oh, and you saw spoilers in the background. Here's some termites. These are uh, smaller termites that you, you have to eat so you can get their powers to destroy wood. And what is wood but this elephant? this wooden, terrible wooden elephant that uh, you have to destroy by getting the powers to eat them. I'm going to intermix some uh, uh, screenshots from the game or from the comic rather. <laughs> I, I just interchange game and comic at, at, at will. That's what happens when you you blur the lines like this and you can see the, the elephant in game, in, in comic. <laughs> cool elephant. Actually, this is the coolest thing. I, this is actually in my house. I'm looking at it right now. Um, it's a, it's actually ceramic, though, and my grandmother painted it, and so since it's the coolest thing I own in my apartment, which this is pretty much modeled after my own apartment, tiny and all, um, I, I decided to give a tribute to my grandma's elephant, which is destroyed later here in the, in the, the storyline of the comic totally destroyed. Bookshelf. See, this is like a place where I cheated. I'm like, okay, I'll just do this part of the bookshelf, the bo the bottom row, and then I kind of just transplanted it up higher. Cheating. Here's an armadillo. At the end of the first level, he gets eaten by an armadillo. Here's some, uh, some nice little block, little placeholder blocks. This ha this is all Doom graphics that I stripped away. It still says entryway and under halls, but that, that those are Doom graphics. Everything else I pulled out of there, and now we got pooped out of that armadillo or armor dog, as it's called in the book. Here's this this scat, the armadillo scat. You can jump on it, have a little fun time. Let's see here. Here's a nice little garden. Some fence work and a potted plants. You can sit next to here for scale. Like, oh, compared to this pot of plants, I am tiny. Here's some gnats.
Also, I'm going to go back to the size that I actually worked on this stuff. So considering I did a bunch of pixel editing on this level to actually get it the way I wanted to, I don't know, I spent a lot, a lot of time um, basically trying to make this look as faithful as possible as an actual uh, 90s era shooter game. And, it, you know, it's uh, I probably spent hours and hours maybe not on each frame but on you know overall it was insane some some were pretty involved and you know and then you know after hours of work I would go oh wow I succeeded I made it look exactly like a shitty game from the 90s I, you know just just spending all this time I'm on a fan now spending all this time to make it look bad it was a, it was kind of a fun experiment an experiment maybe only I would undertake. So at this point, uh, he has the power of anti-grav by eating one of those uh, gnats that you saw. And this is actually him on the ceiling. So in the comic, you'll see him upside down. And there are, of course, these horrible Lovecraftian pill bugs or roly-polies up here. And of course, here's one exploded in case you want to see what an exploded pill bug looks like. Fan. Boom. Oh, this is fun. Now now I'm in a cereal bowl. <laughs> Somehow the bear ends up in a cereal bowl. Madness. Some nice Cheerios maybe, some marshmallows. Where's my warp pad? I put these little warp pads all over the place so I could... Where is that? There it is. Oh! This is kind of like the bathroom, I think. Um, some hidden bugs. Those guys are scary. These guys are really scary. These are the roaches. They're the big menacing threat. Some flies over there. At this point, oh no, there's a ton of guys. What am I going to do? He goes and gets this ammo, which is called a morsel missile. Picks it up. Throws it at these dudes. And they explode. All right. This is like the laundry room. You can kind of tell. There's a broom and a plunger. And that's like a, a washer, washing machine or drawing machine. Yep. Here's my pad. Here's the bus. Oh, there's floating underwear. I'll let you read the book and understand why that's there. Floating underwear in the sky. Vital to the plot. Here's here's a bus. And the bear goes on a ride on a bus. Which extends to, to the heavens. There was a problem with Doom that I didn't realize whenever I started it. Is that you can't do multi-levels of things. So you Basically, you couldn't put air above and below an object, if that makes any sense. You couldn't have space above and below. So it led to stuff like like workarounds like this that I had to like kind of extend it into the air and fix it later. Because basically, Doom was just all corridors, you know, and you didn't have multiple floors, so you were just kind of running through uh, tunnels. So it never needed to do anything more complicated as far as the geometry. So I had to work around that, and that's fine. I like working around things. Let's see. Oh, I talked about my elephant that my grandmother gave me. 
that the glitches I'm, I'm going over my checklist of what to talk about seams of the world beyond it's talking about the uh, glitch texture which is like that if you see that you know something weirds happening glitchy sky now I don't remember where my teleport is here is it here 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 we go under halls that's the doom level I think we're going to the Largo headquarters not the factory um, oh uh, come on here it is Oh, the nice glistening factory, not factory, headquarters. So we got off the bus, and now we're here. This is like, this is where the uh, comic gets super meta. It started off meta, but this is where it goes off the rails meta. And he goes to the Largo Infinite headquarters which Largo is the name of the company that makes the Bear Quest video game so he basically goes to the place that made the game that is him so we're, we're getting the super meta territory and my joke here was that up top the um, this building is decrepit and it's raining and terrible and here it's supposed to look all shiny and nice And there's some destroyed buildings over here that I fixed. It's supposed to be all like lens flares, sparkly. Okay. And is it. No, I think it's over here. Where's my warp zone? Boom. Ooh! Look at that. It's me. It's me. This is supposed to be the, uh, whoa, glitchiness, ignore that. Um, the uh, foyer, I guess, of the uh, headquarters where there's a stand-up bear, like a cardboard cutout. And uh, he confronts himself, like in a larger version of himself. And something, uh, this is also a, f a uh, costume that was made and it's a photo actually I can't believe I just admitted that, there were, that this is a costume but it's 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 from a photograph of this of the actual bear and um, as one thing that uh, I did you might have noticed like with the guy's hand and the armadillo is I started and even like the poop they're, they're, uh, I started incorporating actual photographs into uh, the uh, uh, in, into th uh, this game part of it, to because I mean in old games they'd actually do that. They would um, you know have a really bad like low res really bad uh, photograph mapped over this really horrible um, uh, low poly model. And that would be that. I mean, they'd look really horrible, and they just incorporate these photos because it seemed like they could something they could do. And um, the reason I started doing that, I mean, not only did I think it was uh, faithful to some of the techniques of the time, but also uh, one of my friends brought up um, the idea that maybe, like now that this is 3D and has shadowing and has realistic space in this video game that maybe the video game is now the more real thing because in in my comic the up top what's actually happening real world is always a bit cartoony that that's my that's the way I paint that's the way I draw so it's I mean back back in Bear Quest 1 whenever it was just uh, Atari looking um you know, it, there's no question what's real because the the top of it is lush and colorful and and more detailed, whereas the game part of it is 
Atari looking and just like simple blocks and has no depth to it. But now you're like like you're like what is what is the reality? Uh, is is it what I'm what I'm is it the cartoons at the top or is it this quasi attempt at realism thing? And, I, and that started why I started to uh, incorporate photos in the, into uh, into this. If that makes any sense, this is fun because it's a little maze, and if I fall off, I die. This is a this is a like a cubicle hell. Where the Largo employees um, program the next Bear Quest game. This is actually kind of hard. Oh my god. There's a nice laptop. Oh my. Hardest game ever. Oh, oh, there we go. And, um, here we are over here. Um, laptop. And this is where he, uh, jumps into, uh, the ref uh, freezer or refrigerator and, uh, jumps into a bear beer. A be <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of bear beer. If you're ever curious about the connection between bear and and beer. Read my comic because it clears it all up. Yep. Let's think this is my... Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Toilet! Um... I forget where to go here. It's a big toilet and a bathroom. Uh... Pretty sure I can fall down here. There we go. Toilet. Oh. Oh. It's like toilet inception. And I want to be all gross in the toilet, like there's terrible rust. Oh, rust. And uh, this to me looks like the most doomy thing. Like just this horrible red rust. Like you're exploring a tunnel system. It's all corroded metal, but it's just a toilet. How do I get out of here? Run in circles till I get out of here. Where is it? Is that it? Is this it? That thing. Where? This? Huh? How is it getting out of here? Maybe I teleported one too many times. Let's try this. Woo! Here's a mirror where he has the final con confrontation with uh, the villain of the piece, the Dark Shadow. And here are all the game developers, drunk after a party. And I did a lot of editing, you know, in editing in post for this, but it, they're all passed out on the floor. There's there's beer on the ground. That back there is like the real bear costume. And actually, all these game developers were, were my friends, at least this one and that one. There's a sequence in late in the book um, where I actually did a uh, live-action video sequence where I actually took their photos and made it look all crappy. That's what it's all about, Take, getting your friends together and, you know, making, like, making them look horrible by having them passed out and all badly rezzed in an old video game engine. 
that's what this yeah very unflattering <laughs> and I, I did like this long pan of this and I kinda just uh, just made like this pan shot and I taped it all or you know spliced it all together to make like a widespread shot. Anyway, it was really fun making a... This is the closest I've actually come to making a real video game. Um, even though my comics have been commenting on video games for years and years now. Oh, here comes a train. But I, it was interesting because, like, working with an engine so old, it kind of felt just like hacking. And, you know, there's all these... It's not supported. And uh, you had to download all these old programs and use all, and all the information's out of date. And you had to scour these old, these old forum posts from, you know, the late 90s. And just... I had to, you know, basically just hack at the guts of Doom 2 to make this thing work. It was fun. Here's a punch bowl. Oh, and here's a... Uh, spoilers for the end of Bear Quest. Here's the friend that you encounter. This is on top of that table you saw earlier. There's some party favorites, some cheese, and that's supposed to be some salsa. And tortilla chips, and some guy's hand and your friend at the end of the road well thanks for uh, watching this video I will not be making another video game to make a comic book at least not anytime soon but I enjoyed doing this so thanks for giving it a look uh, let's see bearquest.net Follow me at Z underscore Bill. Good night.